Hey, what's going on guys? It's Nick from Nick's Crypto Investments and welcome back to yet another video. Today's video is the long awaited video about my MetaMask hack. Uh, so I'm going to be going over my story, what I believe went wrong because I'm not 100% sure of when, what, what went wrong. Uh, and then we're also going to be covering uh, what you guys can do throughout the entire process to avoid this from happening to you guys. Um, so there was a couple of mistakes that I made that I probably should have known. Uh, and especially as someone giving you information and you guys tips, I definitely should have been on top of that. So pretty much do as I say, don't do as I do, you know, so and make sure you guys are doing your own research. Okay. Uh, remember, none of this is financial advice. This is my story. This really hurts. Um, but it is what it is. I learned from my mistakes things happen and I've already started to bounce back can't change that so if that sounds like something you're interested in make sure you guys go down below hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date on all of my latest videos so in a second I'm going to be uh, pulling up uh, the contract addresses from the bot wallets that are instantly stealing all the gas fees every time I uh, consistently try to send money over there um, I try to do it like honestly once a week just to see if I can pay a gas fee and if the bot doesn't instantly take it out hopefully I can try to steal some but we're going to pull that up in a second um, and then we're also going to be going over some some things that were sent to me that I didn't click on um, or and some things that I did click on uh, so that you guys can kind of see what's good what's bad you know if it's all bad what, what not. Um, and at the end of the day, it's it's a gut check. So you really need to listen to what your gut's saying. And, you know, if you're a fellow influencer, you completely understand that you're going to have, you know, tens, twenties, 30, 40 people messaging you every single day to promo their project. And one, it can either be a rug or two. It's a malicious actor sending you something that they want you to click on a link and they immediately get access to your MetaMask. And there's nothing you can do about it. So... We're going to cover all that um, really quick. So we're going to jump over to my screen right now. And we're going to show you um, this is the address um, for the guy that's stealing everything from me. This is the, the Binance um, address here. Um, so I can literally just click on it. Um, and, and you could see all the transactions that he's been doing on this bot address. And I mean, there are. There's 8,469 transactions, and I would say probably only 100 to 150 of them are his, and it's from him taking the BNB out that he steals from everybody. So he's set up bot accounts on, I can't tell you how many different wallets on BNB. This is his biggest moneymaker, um, BNB, so... That kind of sucks because I I had a lot on my BNB account, especially with like the Everdome presale and my ten set tokens that I have that are are, are, are worth some, and um, I missed out on the fame because I, I lost out on my ten set um my ten set um subscription uh, because of that and now it's like fifteen thousand dollars to get into and I got in when it was like four grand. Uh, so that that kind of sucks too. So I had all the right plays going, um, but I, I kind of I just lost out, and there's there's nothing I can do about that. Um, but here's his avalanche one as well. Uh, a minute ago, or it, it wasn't a minute ago. But I have to refresh this. Um, so let's see, um, thirteen minutes ago. This is my this is my wallet, right? So this is my hacked wallet. That's what I tried to. Um, send gas fees to so gas fees were you know I, I sent over 0 0.06 to just see if I would be able to get it to stick I've gotten it to stick twice now um, on Avalanche not on Binance um, I've gotten it to stick twice to claim my um, Thor nodes um, and now I'm, I'm, I'm two days away from uh, having to pay my fees off and I, I don't think it's going to stick so I'm probably going to lose um, my, my seven Odins, my eight Thors, uh, four Freyas and eight Heimdales or something. I'm going to lose all of those. Um, well for the time being, um, 
So I've, I've pretty much if after that, if I can't get those, I'm not going to touch this for, you know, a couple months and pray the bots just are disabled or something. <laughs> um, and this guy just goes dormant. Um, and maybe I can get my funds back. But who knows? I mean, there's periods where I feel like the bots are down because there's no transactions going through, right? So you guys can kind of see, you know, for, for sometimes for a period of time. There was one time that he, he didn't do anything for like literally three days. And that was the first time I sent money to my wallet and I was able to claim my fees. And I got like 500 or not claim my fees, claim my, my tokens. And I literally just took the tax and everything and, and I was able to get like 500 and something dollars worth of Thor sent it over and it helped me kickstart my new wallet a little bit. Um, so, and since then I, I, I'm, I made some money on sphere, um, and I transferred that to EMP money. Um, but right now I'm, I'm riding with like, I, at one point the high was 10,000 because of spheres price. Uh, but now that it's down and I've kind of diversified my wallet a little bit more, um, I'm sitting at like 4,000 invested, um, and none of that is out of pocket. Um, that's literally what I was able to save by transferring some some funds over and then just making the right investment calls. Um, but it, it it sucks. It really does suck. Um, but this is just proof. I mean, this is this is literally his wallet. Um, and if you click on on this, you can see he has one on Ether, Binance, Polygon, Phantom, and Avalanche. So he has multiple different wallets, bots on every single one of those, and he's just stealing people's money. Man, people suck, and there's nothing you can do about that, right? Um, so we're going to jump over in a second um, to this Forbes thing, which many, many people have uh, um, seen about, but it's the Google updates and the extension for MetaMask, right? So pretty much if you don't upgrade your, or update, I'm sorry, update your, your Google Chrome, um, I believe there's two updates that I had to do. At the time, I didn't have my Google Chrome updated, so that's one area that I feel like it could have happened from. Um... I, you're gonna see. I, I I made a lot of ridiculously stupid mistakes, and that's why I'm making this video. As hard it is to make this video, and I've been just dreading it because I know that I probably I I had to have gone wrong somewhere for this to happen. So it is my fault that I'm losing out on like seventy five thousand plus dollars. It it that is my fault, right? So. Enough complaining. Let's jump right into the Forbes, right? So this was the the Google releases Chrome update to combat new high level threat. This is pretty much people and malicious actors were pretty much able to bypass your seed phrase and hack into your MetaMask and pretty much just put bots on your account like they're doing for me and steal whatever they want. Um, but there's been two updates. I believe there was another one like later on in April. And they said to do the update again, the new update, um, because it, I guess the malicious actors were able to get around that update, the first one on, on the 8th. So at the time, I I didn't, I just didn't, uh, I, I didn't have it updated. I didn't know about it, um, honestly, until the day I got hacked. And then I started searching around and I was talking to other YouTubers and they're like, did you update your Google Chrome? And I was like, why would I have to do that? So I didn't know about it. It wasn't spread fast enough to me. My fault still, you know, so that's something on me. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know what MetaMask is, it's pretty much just like an outside wallet that you use for DeFi. You can click on MetaMask and download the Google Chrome. Um, also, instead of using Google Chrome in general, now that we're on the topic of Google Chrome, I've complete. I've used this just strictly for my hack wallet. I left my hack wallet pulled up in Google Chrome, but I made a new wallet in Brave. Um, so I've been using the Brave browser because it's more encrypted. It lets me know every, excuse me, if it, uh, there's like, if you click this button up here, it'll tell you like what's good, what's bad. It'll pop up with alerts like, hey, do you want me to block this? Hey, I'm going to block this. Hey, you shouldn't go on this website and it'll make me like manually do it. And I'm like, you know, sometimes I'm like, ooh, yeah, I'm not going to go on this website for, for a project. Or, you know, this one seems like a rug. And I click on it, um, you know, from, like, other influencers. And they're like, hey, stay away from this. And I'll click on it. And it will legitimately pop up and tell me, like, 
hey, we're not allowing you on this website. So not only is there malicious actors on the website, but they're probably going to rug pull too, or they're going to put the bots on your account um, after you put all your funds into the project. It's It sucks, um, but this guys, this is DeFi. It is f scary, and it is horrible, and there's a lot of actions you got to take. So one, n never give out your seed phrase. Two, stop using Google Chrome. Use Brave. Uh, seriously, I... I I've had no issues with Brave. I, I absolutely love Brave. Uh, it's probably saved me once or twice already. Not, I can't really say that because I now have a Ledger wallet, which I didn't have before either. So I didn't have a hardware wallet. Guys, make sure you are using a hardware wallet. Spend the $150 to get it. I was making all this passive income, and I was too lazy to get a ledger and transfer everything over to the ledger and take some some taxes that I was going to have to pay on on some accounts but that's my fault because I didn't do that um so don't give your seed phrase out stop using google get a ledger go to brave right so those are just some things that you guys can do um but we're going to continue going on and we're going to continue on with my story and where I went wrong and how you can improve, right? So here's an email that I have I got, right? So this is on my business email. This is from Alluvium. Um, now, this one was very, very hard to spot. Now, this was, it, it, this was an actual person, Marcel Reyes, that I saw in Alluvium. Um, I couldn't get in touch with him for some odd reason which should have been a flag on other than through email. But everything, every email that I was getting from them, from them was very, 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 very professional. Like, to a T professional. Um, like, more so than any other project in email that I've gotten. So, they sent me a, like, a private beta thing, and this sucks. Um... And I clicked on it, and it was like a dot .e file or whatever, and it was nothing. So I'm pretty sure where I've narrowed it down is not Google Chrome issue. It was me clicking on this stupid email and getting sucked in to a malicious actor that was very good at wording and typing things in, and I accepted it, and I haven't heard from him since. And I, I've lost all my funds since then. So that is a YouTuber thing that I need to learn from. But if you guys get DMs on Twitter, if you guys are like very active in the crypto space on Twitter and people send you links and this and that, guys, reach out to like other people on the team and verify that this is that person. And even then, if your gut is telling you, oh, I don't know about this team, stop, okay? I've pretty much... I haven't taken any promos since since this happened. Um, the only promos that I've stuck with was like sticking with um, the Nemesis Dow team because I've been with them since day one, um, and I've had no issues with them. Otherwise, I do nothing for anybody. Everything now is strictly what I deem to be a good project, right? So, you know... Nobody pays me for anything. I've had many, and I mean many, emails of people reaching out to me saying, hey, we, we want you to do this. And I'm like, no, I just, I'll take a look and and that's it. Like, I'll search them up on Twitter. And if they got like 50 followers, I'm like, <laughs> I'm just staying away right now. You know, like, it's just not worth it. As from This is from an influencer standpoint. But this is where I went wrong. And this is where I'm trying to get to. Don't click any any link that seems suspicious in any way. It, they could word something amazing, so good, but if if you get a red flag like I did from the beginning, where I couldn't get in touch with him on the official Discord of Alluvium, which has 220,000 people in it, if he's not answering me on there or by our Twitter or that no one on the team is answering me and pretty much blowing me off. I, I should have seen that as a complete red flag. But I was like, oh, well, there's 220,000 people in here. They're probably busy and they're not answering everyone. Wrong. I definitely screwed up here. Okay, so if you're another influencer, 
don't do it. It's just not worth it. It's not worth the money because you'll lose everything. And it that that six hundred, a thousand, whatever you're asking as a payout, it ain't gonna be worth it. I promise. So just don't do it. Um so that's another red flag that I had. So we're gonna we're gonna X out of that. Uh, token approvals, right? So this is this is another one uh, that I didn't know to do or, or not to do. So if, if you type in a um, your wallet address, there's this is on for like you can do this on BSC scan, you can do this on ETH scan, uh, you can pretty much revoke approvals on any um, network or blockchain. I'm pulling it up on Avalanche because I just have it saved. Um, but you would pretty much type in your avalanche address for here. You would click search and it would pop up every single project that you gave approvals to that still has approvals. And if there's any that rug pull or or that are getting very suspicious or like, let's just say Contexia Finance. For some reason, they're like suspicious right now. I don't really know much about it, but let's just say hypothetically they were launched right now. Right. And they started there was a lot of suspicious things that came out after they launched. You could come in here, pull out all your money and then revoke approvals right from your avalanche here. You would pay the, the minute gas fee. Totally worth doing. Pay the damn gas fee and revoke the approval so that they can't get in access to your MetaMask. Right. And on top of that. Um, so th this is just one thing that you should do on top of that. You should click. This is my hacked account. So I, I just, I don't really, I don't really care that much. So I'm just going to like log in. Um, so on top of that, you're, you're going to notice that I, I can't do anything here. Um, you're going to want to click on these triple dots. Okay. And now this might be different on mobile. I'm doing this from desktop. So you're going to click on the connected sites on after the triple dots. Now, for me, I have everything disconnected already um, just to stop any other malicious actors. Not like it matters, but you would click on the triple dots and you would go to um, whatever's here. Um, say Thor nodes is here or Contexia, right? You would click disconnect and disconnect. So now that's pretty much all good, right? Make sure you disconnect from their website as well, but that is not good enough. Just because you disconnect your wallet from the website, that is not good enough. You need to come in here in the MetaMask, click the triple dots, click connected sites, and disconnect all of them. And then after that, you would click uh, the, your profile button here and you click this lock button. That completely locks your MetaMask. Um, at that point, you've pretty much taken all the necessary steps apart from having a hardware wallet which you would, I, I totally recommend getting. Guys, this is a hardware wallet. This is a ledger. Seriously, seriously, seriously recommend getting one, okay? Um, these things are absolutely game-changing. Now, every time I make a transaction on my new wallet, there's a code in here. I type in the code, make sure everything is good to go, you know, my own code, and um, I approve the transaction straight through my ledger. If a transaction happens... I would get it on my ledger and I would know and they would need for me to type this in right on here. And um, if I don't, then they're not getting any funds. They're beat, right? This is the safest way to protect your crypto and it's your crypto at that point. You own it. It's on your hardware cold storage wallet. There's no getting around that. It is yours. It is yours. So get one of these things. I promise you I didn't have one and this all could have been avoided probably hopefully maybe if i had this i don't know how it would work with me clicking on that email but i still feel like you know it would work because if they tried to transfer out all my funds and my gas fees and whatever have you i would know even if they put a bot on here i would know now the problem is i can send money from my other account straight on to here the moment it, the moment it literally pops up like point, uh, 0 0.06 for the gas fee, and I click on claim, it's gone, like immediately gone. When you click on activity, it doesn't even pop up. Nowhere. Only on the on on the smart chain. So only on here, 
right? So only on snow trace and only on BSC scan. That's where it pops up. But it legitimately won't pop up in your MetaMask transactions. That an annoyed the, the crap out of me at first because I couldn't figure out what was going on. So there's that. Um, let's pop on over to Discord here. Um, so this is just something that I get these all the time and i've never clicked on any of these discord messages but these airdrop things that are going around this is like the new niche for most projects they will either do an airdrop or a giveaway like the project will be like hey we're doing an airdrop or hey we're doing a, a giveaway or they might not even say they're doing an airdrop but people think they're being dm by you know the actual team and it will say thor airdrop on it right with a bunch of text. This is spam. It pops up as spam for me. So I, I can't even message back. But literally clicking on this. And then clicking on whatever website. Where it will say like airdrop.thor.financial. Or something right. And they'll create a domain that is so stupidly close. To the other one. But just add airdrop to it. If you click on that you're screwed. The moment you touch that link. You're done. Guys. 99.99% of these teams will not DM you first. If anything, they'll message you on Twitter where you can at least verify that other people are, are, you know, contacting them. You know, you could do something, right? Then you can go on their Discord and be like, hey, did you just message me on Twitter? Hey, did you just do this? Or, you know, verify on multiple platforms. That is this guy. I don't care what you do. Just go above and beyond. You do not want to be in the position that I'm in. Okay. So that's pretty much everything to my story. Um, you know, I, I didn't have a ledger. I didn't revoke approvals. I didn't disconnect sites. I didn't know any of that that stuff. I, I, I knew a lot about projects, but I didn't know a lot about security. And I, I screwed up there. And now I can inform you guys of what I did wrong and what you guys can change and, and not do make the mistakes that I made, you know. You know, you guys can, can tell that I just this sucks. I I don't want to talk about this. This uh, it I keep trying to move on from it. So I was like, hey, you just Nick, you gotta make this video. Just push it out and move on, right? You're doing great. Um you know, right now I'm trying to, you know, do some other things. So I'm not able to pull any money out from my day job. Um, so I'm pretty much just working with funds that I have. But come June, I will officially be able to start putting more funds uh, like I used to do back in the good old days. So we're going to go back to the the tried and the pride and true, whatever that saying is. We're going to go back to it and start depositing, you know, 1500 to 2000 or more every single month, whatever I get paid, depending on how much overtime I make. And we're just going to start supplying our damn bags again. You know, we're going to build those bags all over again. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys learned something. Seriously, don't make the same mistakes that I made. Learn from it. Because you will be heartbroken like I am. So that is it for this video, guys. I will see you guys in the next one where it's way more positive, so peace out.